चलो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ब्रॉन्ज स्टेट कंसेप्ट ऑफ एसिड एंड बेसिस एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट विच आर लेफ्ट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर के वी हैव सीन के प्रोटॉन डोनर इज ए इज कॉल एसिड एंड प्रोटॉन एक्सेप्टेड इज कॉल इज ए बेस एंड similarly before ending the lecture i told you every strong acid every strong acid, if you like say strong every strong acid has its weak conjugate base as in weak conjugate base remember if your acid is strong its conjugate base will be always weak and vice versa if your acid is weak every weak acid has its strong conjugate base so always in the acid is a strong acid its conjugate base cl minus is a weak base sulfuric acid is a strong acid its conjugate base hso4 minus is a weak base so if it is strong acid its conjugate base must be weak and if it is a weak acid every weak acid has its strong conjugate base this is about acid it's about base every strong base if your base strong strong base is there every every strong base has its weak conjugate acid if your base strong its conjugate acid will be weak and if your base is weak every weak base has its strong conjugate acid so like this way you just remember anyways is a strong base so it is a strong base so its conjugate acid its conjugate acid will be always weak so like this way you can remember so this was the point which i you have completed in the last lecture now uh, there is a lot of thing to be said about what why a, a strong acid has its weak conjugate base what is the reason why both cannot be strong why both cannot be so if it is strong its conjugate base must be weak If it is weak, its conjugate base must be strong. Now let's go to the next part of this lesson. Now that is called amphoteric nature. Amphoteric nature of water. Yeah, sometimes you can also call dual nature. Dual nature of water. After this bronze state concept of acid base, then people have realized that the water has dual property. it has a dual role it is amphoteric nature what is amphoteric nature sometime water act as acid sometime act as a base so if you want to explain acidic nature of water as well as basic nature of water so its dual nature can be explained with the help of bronze state concept of acid and base so what is the amphoteric nature now let, let's see how it is acting as an acid or it is a base now let's say acid we know acid is a strong acid and to prove its strong acid now let's apply bronze state concept dissolving water so when you put into water acid is a acid so it is a proton donor it donates proton to the water water is accepting that's why it is a base it is donor that's why it is acid so now h2o will become h2o plus and hcl becomes cl minus so in this example the water is acting uh, water is acting as a base because it is accepting a proton from the hcl acid Now, in the second example, you can see ammonia. Ammonia is a base, strong base. When you put into water, now look at here. So the water will donate in H hydrogen ion, H plus ion to ammonia. So ammonia will become NH four plus. NH three after accepting one proton from water will become NH four plus, and water do after donating will become OH minus ion. Here water donating a proton, so that's why it is acid. Look at here. So here water is a base in this example. In this example, water acts as acid. This water is behaving double role. Sometimes acts as acid, sometimes acts as a base, depending upon nature of other with which it is combined. So if it is combining with strong acid, it will behave as a base. If it will combine with a strong base, it will behave as acid. So its its nature get change accordingly to whom it is combining. to whom it is reacting to whom it will come in contact so if the water come in contact with strong acid it will act as a base 
If water comes in contact with a strong base, it will act as acid. This is this double rule. This dual nature of water is called as amphoteric nature of water. So remember what is amphoteric nature, dual nature. So this you can explain. There are some examples also there. Okay, where you can see uh, if you take sulfuric acid, H2SO4, plus put it into water. Now look at it. After putting water, sulfuric acid will see, so it will donate a proton. So H2O will become H3O plus and H2SO4 will become HSO4 minus ion. Now in this example also you can see there is one ion, there is one molecule which can act, which can play the dual role. Then you look at it, this is HSO4. Because this is strong, this is acid and this is conjugate base. This is the conjugate base of this acid. The bisulfate ion, HSO4 minus ion, bisulfate ion, it is acting as a dual nature. It is having amphoteric nature. It is having amphoteric nature. So when I am getting amphoteric nature, it will act as an acid as well as act as a base. It can accept a proton, it can donate a proton. So because it is having hydrogen, it is having one more hydrogen, so it can donate, so act as an acid. And it is having negative charge, so it can accept a proton. So, active donating as well as accepting water means it is nothing but a dual nature of water that is nothing but amphoteric nature of water. So, it is not necessarily water. No doubt, this is a well-known property of water. But water is having very wide property. One of the important property of water is amphoteric nature. But it is not the only property of water. There are some other molecules also <coughs> which can act as amphoteric, which can donate or which can accept a proton depending upon nature of other. So, just for the sake of your example, uh, for the sake of uh, uh, for the sake of amphoteric nature, I have given one more example. So, please do remember what is amphoteric and what is broad state concept of acid and base, and what is mean by uh, conjugate acid base pair. So, this is about what we can call as a the end of the two uh, second theory called prosite. Now, let's go to the third and the last important theory. Of acid and base called Lewis theory. Yeah, Lewis theory. You can call Lewis theory. G. N. Lewis, 1923. This fellow has put a very nice theory, and this theory is widely used. Arrhenius is having limitation. Laurie Brownstein is also having limitation because both this theory is applicable only in aqueous medium. Means you can check any acid as a base after putting into water. So there is a limitation, but this three is widely used. Those compounds which cannot be which cannot be able to explain with the help of Arrhenius or with the help of Brownstein can be very well explained with the help of Lewis. Lewis theory of acid and base is exactly opposite of Brownstein theory of acid and base. So if somebody uh, study Brownstein theory, I will suggest him don't study Lewis because it is exactly opposite of Brownstein. So what is Brownstein theory of acid? Brown state theory of acid. What I see according to Brown is proton donor. This is according to Brown state. Now I am not telling Brown state, I am telling Levis theory of acid. What Levis says about acid? Just replace, just make a what is the opposite of proton? What is the opposite of donor? So opposite of proton is electron. Opposite of donor is acceptor. Is finish. Proton donor is acid, that is brown state acid, and electron acceptor is nothing but Lewis acid. So Lewis acid matlab, so just I will put one word here between these two. Electron acceptor. But how many electron? One electron, two electron, three electron. Because when somebody say okay, he is accepting electron, then people will ask, Kitne electron? So just to avoid this, I will just put one uh, word that is called electron pair. But now answer you will get. So what is the Lewis acid? The substance which accept an electron pair. The substance, the substance can be atom, the substance can be ion, the substance can be molecule. Any the substance which can accept accept what an electron. How many electron? Electron pair from other from other and form. After accepting what is forming and form coordinate bond. Look at here. After accepting the electron, it forms a coordinate bond. Such substance, such substance are called as Lewis acid. 
They are called the I am, uh, you people are accepting the knowledge. You are accepting the knowledge means you are accepting the electron. And when you are accepting the electron means you are levisizing. So the substance which can accept, yeah, which accept an electron pair from other and form a quadrant bond, they are called levisizing. And if you want to define what is Lewis base, just replace this word, accept. Instead of accept, you say donate. The substance which donate an electron pair to other and form coordinate bond is called Lewis base. That is called Lewis base. I am Lewis base because I am donating knowledge. I am donating electron, donor of knowledge, donor of electron pair are called Lewis base. And the students, they are accepting the knowledge, they are accepting the electron pair. So which accept electron pair, which accept knowledge, they are called Lewis acid. Which donor electron pair, which donor knowledge, they are called Lewis base. So do remember exactly opposite of broad shape. So is the electronic concept. Lewis is electronic concept. So if you want to explain it, uh, any acid as a base, Use electronic concept. So electronic concept is nothing but Lewis theory. And Lewis theory is nothing but donor of electron pair is Lewis base and acceptor of electron pair is Lewis acid. So this is what we can say a, a, what is the third important concept of acid and base. Now let's explain with the help of some example. Let's explain with the help of example how to explain that it is donor and it is acceptor. Look at here. Ammonia in acid. Ammonia is having lone pair of electron and BF3. BF3 in BF3 boron is electron deficient center. This, there is electron deficiency. This is this is Lewis base. Ammonia is Lewis base. And we know ammonia is Lewis, ammonia is a base that is proved by Brown strip. Ammonia is a base that is that, that can be proved by with the help of our ideas. The same ammonia is also uh, Lewis, uh, is a base that is proved by Lewis also. So this ammonia is having lone pair of electron, having lone pair of electron, so this will donate to boron. After donating electron, electron pair to the boron, look at here. Now I have written nitrogen first. Now you can see the coordinate bond is shown by an arrow. Coordinate bond is shown by an arrow. The arrow starts from donor atom and ends with acceptor atom. Who is the acceptor? Boron. He is not flowing. Boron is the acceptor and nitrogen of the ammonia is donor. And this arrow bond is called coordinate bond. So this direction of arrow indicates it is a donor and the arrow is end with the boron that is acceptor. So donor of electron pair is Lewis base. Acceptor of electron pair is Lewis acid. So like this way there is a formation. So this is a Lewis, the ammonia is a Lewis base and B3 is Lewis acid. One more example I will take. Look at here water H2O. We know in water oxygen is having two lone pair. And H plus ion, H plus ion is from acid, acid means H plus ion. So this acid and this is base because this is going to donate electron pair to H plus ion. What do you get now? H2O, arrow and H. Look at here, the direction of arrow indicates oxygen is donor and hydrogen is acceptor. So therefore this is donor, this is that way, there is Lewis base. This is acceptor, that is why Lewis acid. And H2O, arrow, the same can be written as H3O. This 2H and 1H means H3O. And this oxygen is donating electron, that's why it become, after donating it becomes positive. And this ion is called hydronium ion. This ion is called hydronium ion. So H plus is IC. Everybody has said H plus is IC. Whether you can take Arrhenius, whether you can take Bronsted, whether you can take Lewis, the approach is different, but finally everybody has said H plus is IC. Arrhenius name may be H plus acid below, Brownstein may be H plus acid below, Lewis may be H plus acid below because H plus is accepting electron pair. Which is accepting electron pairs are called Lewis acid. And which is donating electron pairs are called Lewis base. So after donating and accepting, there is a formation of coordinate bond. And that type of substance are called acid or base. So please do remember. So if you want to compare okay, Arrhenius acid, Brownstein acid, Lori acid, eh, Lewis acid. The approach, sabke raaste alag alag hai, but bazi nahi ki hai. Sabka kehna alag hai, but finally the answer is same. Everybody has said HCl is acid. Whether it is Arrhenius, whether it is Brown's shape, whether it is. Everybody says ammonia is a base. Whether it is Arrhenius, whether it is Lowry Brown's shape, whether it is a Lewis. So, approach is different, but finally the conclusion of all these things are same.
So this is what we call, call as a Lewis theory of acid and base. So please do remember. So if your substance to be act as a Lewis acid, so अगर आपका कोई पास आपके if there is some substance, आपके पास कोई molecule है और वो Lewis acid का role play करना चाहता है, it want to act as a Lewis acid. So Lewis acid के लिए it must be electron deficient. Substance must be electron deficient. और लेविस बेस के लिए सब्सटेंस मस्ट बी इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच तो अगर ये डिफिशन है तो इट विल एक्सेप्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन पे और ये इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच है तो इट विल डोनेट इलेक्ट्रॉन पे तो जब वो डोनेट करेगा तो जाहिर है लेविस बेस हो जाएगा जब वो एक्सेप्ट करेगा तो वो लेविस एसिड होगा तो एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफिशिएंसी मस्ट और डोनेट करने के लिए योर सब्सटेंस मस्ट कंटेन एन इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच एटम देन ओनली इट विल डोनेट और एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए देयर मस्ट बी Electron deficiency. Presence of electron deficiencies must in order to accept the electron pair, then only it will act as a Lewis acid. So this is the very important condition for the substance to be act as a Lewis acid or Lewis base. Lewis acid के लिए ये का ये शर्त है, Lewis base के लिए ये शर्त है. Then only it can call it Lewis acid, Lewis base. So in the next lecture we will see the further part.